Quarter 2, Module 7 Presented by Eileen R. Luxon, Master Teacher 1 Content Standard Understand and appreciate literary texts in various genres across national literature and cultures Performance Standard Write a close analysis and critical interpretation of a literary text in terms of form and theme. Good day, Talon Talon National High School Grade 10 learners. Welcome to Hashtag Let's Learn English in the New Normal. Before we formally begin our lesson, let's pause for a moment of silence and have the proper disposition for a short prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. Let's have an attendance check. For your attendance, follow this link, type your name and section, and the date and time when you watch this video. I sent the link in your Facebook group chat. So all you need to do is to go to Facebook Messenger, type G10 English, and your section 2021. Look for the link, click it, and there it will lead you to Google Form with the title Attendance and Assessment Sheets. You can also access the files here using the QR code scanner for your notes and references. Are you excited for our new lesson? If you are, then show me your virtual smile! I'm sure you are seated on a quiet place where you will not be disturbed while viewing you are with your pen, paper, art materials, Android phone or laptop beside you. Let's have first a quick recap of our previous lesson. In module 6, you have learned about identifying the techniques on how to deliver an extemporaneous speech. Let's watch some of your outputs. of the world is but a mere reflection of what we are doing to ourselves and to one another. A healthy environment is one that is sustainable for a long period of time. It is a source of life for everyone. It directs life of everyone and determines the proper growth and development. Deforestation is another major reason. The human population is increasing at a fast rate and therefore, to meet their daily consumption, we need to cut forests and trees. It may be for home or for fuel, but always remember, but always remember that we are causing great loss to the environment. Stop cutting trees, no to deforestation.
Are you familiar with online live selling? What do you usually comment to the product being posted on that online live selling? Wow, you're all updated. Of course, you say mine. Now, why do you think online live selling is trending today? Exactly! Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, people have depended more on online live selling or online shopping and the consumption of live social media or social video has skyrocketed around the globe through Facebook or Instagram. This made easy for consumers to buy and wait at their very doorstep for the delivery. Now, I will be flashing some products on the screen and you will comment on the items I posted in our Facebook classroom. In going to this site, click Facebook icon and go to search. Now type G10 English, your section 2021. Now that will lead you to our Facebook Classroom page. For part 1, it says, type mine and it's yours. Type mine, name of product and its use. The first item is this. Exactly! It's a book. Now, book is used for reading, for educational purposes, or for entertainment. Do you know that the first book printed in the Philippines was in Manila in 1593, and it is called the Doctrina Christiana? This was a little book of prayers written by Franciscan friar Juan de Placencia. Now let's go to the next item. The second item is this. Yes, you're right. It's a pen. Of course, a pen is used for writing. The first fountain pen was invented by Petrarch Poenaru, a Romanian student in Paris, which the French government patented in May 1827. Let's get ready for the third item. Correct! These are headphones Phones are used for listening. Do you know that the first headphones were used by telephone operators in 1881? It was a single earpiece that rested on the user's shoulder and weighed over 10 pounds. What? <laughs> and the fourth item is... Fabulous! It's a television or what we call TV. It is used for viewing. The first television was invented in 1925 by Scottish inventor John Lodge Beard. Where do we usually use those items? Very good, they are used for communication. Let's have an activity named Classify me. From this word cloud, classify the words into the different modes of communication and write your responses on the chart that follows. You can write one response for each column. You are given two minutes to do this activity.
time is up. The answers are for reading, we have brochures, infographics, ebooks, textbooks, novels, and comics. For writing, we have note taking, letters, memos, notices, reports, newsletters. For listening, we have radio broadcasting and music. For speaking, we have storytelling, oration, telephone conversation, face to face meeting, and teleconferencing. How are you able to classify the words in the different modes of the communication? Wow! What a brilliant idea! You were able to classify each word through analyzing the different modes used. Why do you think some words have two or more modes of communication? Yes, precisely! It is because ideas and organization of thoughts are combined to make them more meaningful and creative through different resources for each mode. Do you already have a grasp on what could be our topic for today? I have here a clue. It has two words. You got it right! It's multimodal text. By the end of this session, you will define multimodal text, identify the different multimodal elements, and interpret a multimodal text. Now let's start with our discussion. Open your self learning module to page 3. The way we communicate with each other involves different processes called modes. Modes are communicating and creating meaning, just like reading, listening speaking, writing, and viewing. In conveying messages, we sometimes use two or more modes. Modes are also different ways that text can be presented. In order for the message to be conveyed, it depends on how someone would like to communicate a message to a reader or listener. Then what are multimodal texts? Yes, these are texts with a combination of two or more modes to create meaning. These modes can be linguistic, visual, oral, gestural, and spatial. Once again, the five modes of communication are linguistic mode, visual mode, oral mode, gestural mode, and spatial mode. Linguistic mode includes written and spoken words, word choice, vocabulary, grammar, structure, and organization of sentences and paragraphs. This mode requires a person to communicate using words and speaking out loud what he is trying to convey. These are the examples of linguistic mode. For oral or spoken language, we have daily conversations, telling a story, singing songs, and reading books. For written language, we have invitation cards, letters, game instructions, newspapers and magazines, academic essays, and food packages. For visual mode, this uses images, videos, color, visual layout, design, font, size, formatting, symbols, graphic organizers such as tables, diagrams, charts, mind maps, and animations. In this mode, meanings are conveyed through the use of pictures and other symbols that people can see. Examples of visual mode are TV shows or films, computer graphics, still and moving images, drawing, photographs, and icons. Next is oral mode. It includes spoken words, sound, music, volume, pitch and rhythm, speed of delivery, pitch, tone, voice, and sound effects. 
it conveys a message through sounds or sound devices in a particular communication. And these are the examples. We have songs, music videos, and musical drama. While gestural mood uses movement, speed, and stillness in facial expression, gestures, and body language. Meanings are conveyed through body movements. Examples of gestural mode are daily conversations and performing in a theater. And the last is spatial mode. Spatial mode includes physical arrangement, like spacing, position, organization, proximity, direction, and distance of elements in a text. Space extends from the design of the picture in a book, a page in a graphic novel or comics, a web page in the screen, framing of shots in moving images, to a design of a room through architecture and landscape. Examples of spatial mode are chair and table arrangement, website with menu and header, stand in line, and location of a place. Now let's have more examples. A poster with a text which made you look and which made you read is a multi-model text. Since there are presence of two modes which are viewing and reading, as simple as that. Multi-model texts can be paper-based, live, or digital. Paper-based multimodal texts include pictures, books, textbooks, graphics, novels, comics, and posters. On the other hand, live multimodal texts include dance performance and oral storytelling, which convey meaning through combinations of various modes such as gestural, spatial, audio, and oral language. And lastly, we have digital multimodal texts, which include film, animation, slideshows, e-posters, digital stories, podcasts, and web pages that may include hyperlinks to external pronunciation guides or translations. Now, when do we use multimodal texts? In school, we often apply multimodal text. For example, if your teacher tasked you to do something creative and you chose to write a song or a jingle about a certain topic, then that's also a multimodal text. One is required to listen, read the lines, and write the lyrics. Now, in your own words, define a multimodal text. Great! Now take a closer look at this infographic from the World Health Organization. Identify the modes present in the image. Let's read. Reduce your risk of COVID-19. Clean your hands often. Cough or sneeze in your bent elbow, not your hands. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Limit social gatherings and time spent in crowded places. Avoid close contact with someone who is sick. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. You have three minutes to answer. Very good. So the modes present are visual, spatial, and linguistic. Now, let's have a short action song entitled, Coronavirus Song. This is by Music Scientist. Let's dance and sing in TikTok. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes, let's fight the virus.
us, protect ourselves. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes, and these are what we should do. Take our temperatures every day. Wash our hands frequently with soap. Cover our mouths when we cough or sneeze. We gonna stop the virus from spreading. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes. Let's fight the virus, protect ourselves. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes. And these are what we should do. Avoid touching our faces. Avoid sharing food. Avoid going crowded places. Wear masks if we're unwell. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes. Let's fight the virus, protect ourselves. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes. And these are what we should do. Drink lots of water every day. Have enough sleep and rest. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables, and let's exercise regularly. Coronavirus shoes, coronavirus shoes, shoes can fight the coronavirus. What is the message of the action song? Very well said. Now that we have the new UK variant of this COVID-19, we need to be extra cautious whenever we are in the crowd. Going back to the link of your attendance sheet, you can find the second part, which is the assessment sheet. Click on the letter of your choice, then answer the last three questions briefly. For those who have no internet connection, assessment sheet will be provided to you during the distribution of the SLM. Number one, which is true about multimodal text? A a way of communicating ideas or information, B, using computer technology, C, text that uses two or more modes to present information or create meaning, D, none of these. The answer is letter C. Number two. Which of these multimodal elements includes vocabulary, structure, and grammar of oral or written language? A. Spatial B. Audio C. Linguistics D. Visual And the answer is letter C. Number three. What modality is shown in the image above? A. Spatial B. Visual C. Gestural D. Audio And the answer is letter C. Number four. Which does not contribute to the spatial meaning of a material? A. Framing of shots in moving image. B. Layout of objects. C. Extended space from the design of a page in the book. And letter D. Choices of words and phrases. The answer is letter D. Number five. What modality would you prefer if you have technical skills associated with understanding and using system, tools, and applications in the online platform? A. Print B. Live C. Digital D. All of these The answer is letter C. Six, which strategy is helpful for those who have strong preference for learning by auditory methods? 
A. Use recorder during lectures. B. Utilize sticky notes to be placed in key areas such as mirror, desk, tables. Letter C. Write out sentences and phrases that summarize key information obtained from your textbook, lecture, and notes. D. Use screenshots for visual review or to paste into notes. The answer is letter A. Number seven. You noticed that your friend is fond of using various highlighters or markers in her notes for the reason that it helps her aid in recalling important details. What mode of learning is used by your friend? A. Visual B. Auditory C. Spoken and D. Gestural The answer is letter A. Interpret the comic strip below by answering the questions that follow. Number 8. What message is illustrated in this comic strip? The answer is the danger in stepping into a banana pigling in the street. Number 9. What elements in the illustration have helped you in depicting its message? The answer is the character's facial expression, gesture, and the banana peeling. Number 10. Do you think the illustrator is successful in conveying the message to the readers? Explain your answer. The answer is, yes, the message is conveyed through the use of visual resources such as line, shape, size, and symbols. Now, for your assignment, Choose one of any multimodal texts of any social issues and fields of study such as global awareness, civic literacy, political system, health, education, governance, business, sciences, technology, and communications. In the internet, books, television, or radio, and post it on your Facebook classroom for your classmates to comment on the message that the text conveys. If you have poor internet connection, you may submit it to your class advisor during the retrieval of your assessment sheets. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope you have learned a lot about multimodal texts. Again, this is your English teacher, Eileen Arlokson, saying, No hay que imposible. Cree, junto, junto, puede.